Good evening, Honorable Mayor and City Council. Um, to start off with, give you a report on our uh, fireworks educational campaign this year, which consisted of the following. A community meeting held in May with the participating organi organizations that went well with all fireworks participants attending. Uh, the Prevention Bureau contacted all the schools providing information on zero tolerance campaign and made their, their cells available to give needed presentations. Public service announcements were provided by cable TV concerning firework safety and to follow up, there'll be a wrap-up article on fireworks activity to be provided in the fall edition of the Focus Newsletter. A summary of the fire department's uh, activity. The fire department responded to a total of 47 calls for service during the time period of June 28th and July 4th. Department personnel did observe quite a lot of illegal fireworks activity similar to last year. Again, this year we were fortunate the weather cooperated by having a relative mild June with a high humidity and winds remaining fairly calm. The only significant event worth noting was a grass fire on Santa Lucia adjacent to the Cal Trans BART tracks. The fire was sus suspected of being caused by fireworks, although the investigation was unable to determine whether illegal fireworks caused it. During the week leading to 4th of July, there were several small fires that were classified as suspicious, but the causes were undetermined. Good evening, Mayor and members of the Council. As you directed back in April of this year, the Police Department again conducted an enforcement campaign as part of the 2009 fireworks season. We worked closely with the Fire Department to assist in the education component. This year we made a significant effort to advise the public of the increased fine associated with da dangerous firework use. And this was the result of the action you took back in May that uh, revised the city ordinance and allowed us to issue an administrative fine for the use of dangerous fireworks. Our education campaign included public service announcements and informational flyers that were handed out to all patrons of the fireworks booth. Also, we inserted uh, notices in uh, the utility billing that went out in June. We also worked with the fire department to staff an informational booth at the June 28th Farmers Market, and this allowed us to again get the word out of the increased fines and our strict enforcement policy. Over the eight-day reporting period from June 28th to July 5th, we had a 147 reports of firework violations, and this is about a 36% decrease from the previous year. On the 4th of July, the department handled 208 calls for service, and to give you an, some perspective on this, typically we handle about 80 to 100 calls a day. We had 106 firework-related calls on July 4th, and from uh, 8 o'clock to midnight, we received 118 calls for service. To handle this, vol call, or this call volume, all police personnel were brought into work with the exception of those already on a 40-hour block of vacation. We had 69 personnel working that day, including 13 officers from allied agencies to assist us. Uh, the city is split up into three patrol areas, so we had a regular complement of patrol staff to handle routine calls for service, and we had an equal number of officers deployed for firework enforcement. As I mentioned, and I could notice, there was a, a noticeable decrease in the level of activity. <coughs> there weren't as many as people out in the street, um, and we had about a 41% decrease in calls for service on July 4th. Despite the noticeable decrease in activity, there was an increase in the number of offenders officers encountered using dangerous fireworks this year. A total of 36 administrative citations were issued from the evening of July 3rd to the early morning hours of July 5th. 35 of those citations were for dangerous fireworks. One citation was misuse of safe and sane fireworks. In addition to that 36 administrative citation number, there were three juveniles arrested for possession of dangerous fireworks. In years past, individuals caught using illegal fireworks were transported to our police station, processed and released on a citation. With this year, issuing the administrative citation, individuals were released on the scene. This allowed our officers more time to actively patrol the streets for illegal firework use, and this may account for the increased number despite the decrease in activity. Violations were observed throughout the city. There was no geographic area that was more prevalent than another. Um, however, we did receive a call from a resident who noticed a considerable decrease in activity and that resident attributed to our pre-enforcement um, education campaign where we went door to door prior to the July 4th 
and handed out informational flyers advising of our increased fines and our increased enforcement efforts. Uh, those individuals who were issued administrative citation for firework violations have 15 days from the date of the violation to remit the fine or request an appeal. To date, one individual has paid the fine and two individuals have requested an appeal. We are in the process of following up with those individuals, reminding them that if they have not yet replied, there is a penalty assessment if they don't uh, provide the fine on time. The total cost for the 2009 education and enforcement campaign is $54,900. This amount includes the, uh, the costs associated with fire, police, and public works cleanup who collected approximately three cubic yards of firework debris this year. In April of this year, we estimated the cost to be about $60,800, and last year's cost totaled $58,600. Uh, we attribute the decrease this year. We didn't have as many uh, additional personnel from Public Works and Park and Rec uh, because the weather conditions were uh, better. Uh, this year's amount will be assessed to the fireworks boost, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Any questions of Chiefs? To, to the chair. Yes, the chief, when <clears throat> when an individual was issued as the administrative citation, uh, that's a thousand dollar fine. Are they aware of what that what what that fine is when they're when they walk away from you? Correct. Okay. So that's probably a better deterrent to to go amongst their neighbors and say thousand dollar ticket right here. Yes, and we'll have to see yes, next year if the number of violations decrease. Thank you. Through the Chair. Um, as in years past, and I'm going to continue to thank and commend the fire and police for um, their work and their service that they did during the weekend of and, of course, the 4th of July. Uh, I was able on the 4th to go down to the fire station for an hour or so, speak to the firefighters at Station 51. Uh, went to the 4 o'clock briefing and that it did a ride along that evening uh, for about two plus hours. Uh, I think the education from what I heard from the officers in the briefing that they felt that those folks that they had contacted and went to already had at least half or more had known of the increased fine. So that may have had some deterrent. I also think the citation where they remained out on the street and on the road enabled officers to be available to assist the community, uh, assist the calls, and uh, try to make the difference that apparently they did with the additional citations. But of course, this comes with them sacrificing from their time with their families and uh, at their communities uh, enjoying the festivities. So um, on watching them work again this year, I want to thank all of them from the police and the fire uh, for their service and their duty to the community and the efforts obviously were successful as far as um, the outcome that we're, we've just heard of. Thank you. And I just echo the same. I'd like to, the activity was noticeably down and I think that's because of all of our efforts throughout the year. Much appreciated. I think the community appreciates it as well. Thank you.